now we will see the pin diagram of an IC the specification sheet of every IC is released by its manufacturer which gives the details about the contents and seven specifications so what is pin diagram pin diagram is the uh, content of the IC the internal contents of the IC connected to several pins which are coming out say for example this is the pin diagram of the 74 IC 7400 7400 as we can see that it has it has 14 pins starting from 1 going till 14 and it, it, it is consisting of 4 NAND gates 4 NAND gates uh, as already mentioned that all the gates inside this IC are independent of each other that means ki the output of this particular gate output of this particular gate will not be affected by the input given to other gates or uh, in simple words we can say that all are independent of each other and can act and can uh, generate results independently so these are some of the uh, commonly used IC pin diagrams which includes say uh, 7400 that is uh, two input NAND gates uh, it consists of this IC 7400 contains four number of NAND gates see uh, next is 7408 four AND gates 7432 four four OR gates similarly 7402 it consists consists of four four NOR gates see, 7404 this hex inverter six numbers of NOT gates NOT gate as we know is a single input uh, gate so uh, place uh, here in this IC 7404 six uh, gates are present NOT gates are present now is uh, next is uh, 7410 see this is a triple input NAND gate triple input NAND gates NAND gate it uh, this IC 7410 consists of only three such gates three triple input NAND gates and these are the pin connections one and two uh, for the two inputs and two inputs for the first gate and the third input is at pin number 30 and output is given at pin number 12 for the first gate similarly for second and third this is 7486 7486 7486 this is uh, 4 XOR gates 7486 4 XOR gates so here in all this uh, this pin diagrams we can find that we can find a thing in common which is VCC and ground VCC and ground so VCC and ground are the power supply pins to this IC to every IC so uh, whenever you are going to use an IC you will have to supply the power to that particular IC so uh, for each and every IC you will have some you will have combination of two pins VCC and grounds which which needs to be connected to power supply VCC and ground uh, in order to make that IC function so uh, for any IC that you are using first you will have to refer the pin diagram from the specification sheet specification sheet so that you can uh, make the connections and please make note that the pin diagram of all the ICs all the ICs for example uh, say 7400 7408 it appears to be the same uh, that is the input inputs are at 1 and 2 and output is uh, out, um, output is at 3 for the first gate for example similarly in 7408 and 7432 the inputs are at 1 and 2 and output we can, uh, for the first gate is obtained at pin number 3 but this is not true for all the ICs this is not true for all the ICs say for example 7402 
see the input is at input is at 2 and 3 and the output is obtained from output is obtained from the pin number 1 which is just opposite of this IC 7400 7408 7432 right so in order whenever you are going to make uh, going to use an IC you just you first have to check its pin diagram pin configuration you can just uh, google uh, it from you can just google it from the web just write pin and followed by the IC number and you will get the pin configuration so first thing is to check the pin diagram of the IC before using it now we will see how to make connections in a connections in a IC or we are going to uh, see how to use the gates which are present inside uh, an IC. First of all, you have to supply power to that IC that you are going to use. In any IC, you will find one of the pins as labeled as VCC or power supply pins and power supply pins VCC and ground. So, here in this case for example 7400 IC 7400 we have pin number 7 labeled as GND that means ground. So, first thing is to connect it to ground, second is to supply VCC, VCC to pin number 14 in this case pin number 14 you will have to look for the pin configuration diagram or the pin diagram of that particular IC which you are going, which you are going to use. So, in this case we have pin number 14 as VCC and pin number 7 as ground. So, first thing you have to do is you have to connect pin number 4 pin number 7 with uh, to the ground and pin number 14 to the VCC. Say suppose uh, in commonly we use plus 5 volt. So, first uh, now that we you have connected it uh, connected it to the power supply now suppose you are going to uh, you 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 want to use one of the NAND gates so uh, you have in this IC you have four number of NAND gates you can use any of them remember that all the gates that are present inside are mutually independent that means independent of each other the second gate uh, what what this term independent in means that the the gate 1 is not going to get affected by the inputs that are given to 2, 3 or 4. Similarly, the uh, gate 2, output of gate 2 is not going to get affected by the inputs given at 1, 2, uh, first gate, fourth gate or the third gate. So, suppose you want to use uh, a NAND gate, you want to make a circuit using NAND gate. So, you have to connect for example, we have used the first gate in one of the inputs over E here on pin number 1, second input to this pin number 2 and we see that the output is at pin number 3. Suppose you want to uh, uh, just test the output using a LED. So, simply connect this LED and connect it to ground. Okay? connect it to ground. Take, uh, here you can see that we have connected a small register uh, which is uh, used as a current limiter. We will be seeing what actually this is, uh, this register is used for. So, its its value should not be very high, it should not, uh, it should not be, it should not be very low uh, either. Uh, you can take a value somewhere between 100 to 500 or 300 uh, th usually we take 220 or 330 uh, ohm registers for this particular case. Now, you supply inputs logic inputs to 1 and 2 and you can get the output at pin number 3. If you have found this uh, video useful and kindly like and subscribe the channel. Thank you.